Okay, we have chat doc, which is one of the many PDF or large document readers out there. Uh, these are growing day by day. And the problem they're solving is that chat GPT, Google's Bard, Bing chat can't ingest a large amount of information like uh, 10K, which I'm about to show you. Um, if you want to use you know, AI, generative AI, to probe and prompt a public company's filing so you don't have to read through 200 pages. AI might be a really good tool. We'll find out how good this one is. So this is one of the many, it's it's chat doc. Um, this is the main screen. Uh, you'll be prompted to set up an account. It's free right now. Now, I've already started one video. I had to end it because I thought it was gonna move faster um, than it was, it was. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so I uploaded, um, yeah, Airbnb's uh, 10K from last year. Um, and it's, you can see up here, it's still working. Um, and this is the time. So six thirteen, so almost nine minutes. It's still analyzing down here is my prompt window. And that was grayed out before. So it's just opened up, which maybe it means it's analyzed enough. I can actually do a prompt. One thing I want to note here, see these documents over here. I have no idea whose those are. I did not load those. I don't know if they're prior searches. Just another good you know, tip here. There's nothing private right now in generative AI. It's very difficult to know what actually is happening with the documents. That's why I trend, tend to use public documents or very generic documents when I'm testing these things. So I'm gonna throw my prompt into here. Uh, let me grab that real quick. Okay, so this is a complex prompt and it's not done analyzing, so maybe a bit fair, but I'm asking it to describe the business model of this company, Airbnb. and instead of just saying describe the business model, I'm giving it key characteristics of a business model. Now, this is a fairly intensive prompt. Let's just see how it goes. So based on the document fragment provided, I don't know if that's referring to how much it's analyzed or whatever. Um, I can only provide on business model. Everybody operates a global marketplace. Let me just ingest this quick out and I'll Okay, it didn't break down the business model. Again, that was perhaps an unfair prompt. But listen, um, other uh, chat GPT or chat driven GPT engines can do that. Fine, it's not done analyzing, maybe it will. The thing I like about it though, it does have these references. So here it's taking me to where it talks about the business. Page 22 talks about the brand. Page five, it's highlighted in here where it sort of drew the stuff. So I like that it's given me resources. Um, I'm gonna try something else that I know is in here and let's see how good that does. Okay, so I'm basically asking, what are their key business metrics and what were their most recent numbers? What were the most recent numbers compared to the previous year? So I know they use the language key business metrics in here and it looks like it's it's grabbing it and it's it's giving me the answer to the performance. This is, this is helpful. Um, I'm going to try to come up with a question that has to interpret something so it's not just a glorified find function. Okay, so I'm basically asking it, how would I describe this company in terms of investment possibility? Is it a good investment with potential high ROI? It might come back and say, I cannot give you a definitive answer. Um, interesting. I just gave some mentions how the stock is owned, significant impact of COVID-19. And obviously it's telling me I need to do a full comprehensive analysis to come up with an investment decision. Fair enough. Um, I'm gonna try one more prompt to see if we can get a sense for its narrative analysis, tying different concepts together. I'm basically asking it to describe the culture of this company based on its brand, the management language and other notable information. So I'm asking for something it probably doesn't mention in here, although it talks about brand there's management language from management and there's other information here about the employee experience and all that that is associated. So I'm trying to see if it can pull all that stuff out and wrap it together in a culture response. It actually does a really good job. Airbnb is defined by optimism, care for others, curiosity and resourcefulness. Company's management also emphasizes these values and believes they are critical, unique characteristic, for values. Okay, this this is impressive. This is good. It, it's now sort of shown me that it's going to take the black letter of the text, compile it, think basically and answer the question. So are pretty good. Uh, and it's not even done analyzing to be fair to chat doc. So uh, promising. I'm going to check out this more.